Good evening. Today I'll be uh, talking about what packaging we use in the chemical industry and how do we transport these chemicals to our customer. And on top of that, I'll explain two of our factories that we are currently joint venture working with. Please pay attention. Please pay attention to this slide because our boss may ask you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in order to avoid in, all, in order to avoid mistake in order to avoid mistake of using the wrong container of using the wrong container and packaging and packaging you must pay attention to these slides if you use the wrong one if you use the wrong one we will deduct your salary we will deduct your salary <laughs> do you want your salary to be deducted do you want your salary to be deducted yeah. no no so pay attention <laughs> okay good so, as you can see here, there's the typical three types of containers we use for liquid. And your typical cowboy is a 25 liter cowboy. It's basically a jerry can also. Uh -huh. For your 25 liters. And all types of chemicals are put in, in this uh, cowboy. And usually we call it one pallet. One pallet is basically about one metric ton or one liter pallet where we can put all we'll shrink wrap all this into one massive uh, kind of a pallet we go in so about 64, 32 of this will be put into one liter pallet and then we'll wrap it up nicely for the week. Oh, so one pallet will contain 32 carb units of carboys yes okay then next you have drums, which is 220 Louder. liters, which is 220 liters, uh -huh. and in that there, there's one pallet there is four drums, and the drums are for more of the industry chemicals we use. But yeah. yes. why, why do we have to use pallet? What's why? Why do we have to use the pallet? Pallet. Uh, we use the pallet because when you're transporting these goods to your customer. You don't expect to carry one cowboy, two cowboy uh, okay. Sell them in bulk also. So by having it in the pallets, we straight away take the forklift, take it out straight to the bulk. Uh, forklift. Uh, yes. That's why it's very important to memorize how many units we have on our pallet. Uh, then one of our favorite is called the IBC tanks. This itself is already come in a metal cage. And below there is technically a pallet, so it's a steel cage in the top tank. This um, IDC tank is about 1,000 liters, so a lot of the industry users like to use these steel cages because they are more, they're safer, and if it, if you were to drop it, the metal cage will protect the chemical inside from breaking because it's in a plastic cover, and you have a metal cage around it. Ah. So this is more safe, well, more secure compared to other packaging. Okay. Next we have the dry type of packaging. There are 25 and 50 kilo bags. So these are just basic bags and um, we we'll put it in like many layers to form. So your 25 stop, stop reading from the screen. Read from the top. For the 25 kilo, ah. you got about right, 40 top. bags. And your 50 kilo is about 20 bags. Then you'll put on top of the pallet for the yeah, I think it's only, yeah. And then your jumbo bag, which is a one metric ton bag, is a massive uh, woven bag. So if you see the straps up here, this is where the forklift will put the strap on and then they'll lift it up. So these bags are very strong. Next, this is the um, different methods that we use to transport the cargo to our customers' uh, storage tank or warehouses. So the first one, you've got the normal road trucks. Yeah. Those are for your IDCs and your, your dry goods in bags. Then you've got the road tankers. This one are specially built tankers which have three different compartments. So inside there, you can see here, that's one compartment, there's another compartment. So in between, you can separate the different goods in there. Mm -hmm. 
So when you fill up above and that, you have 20, 20, and 15 metric tons in the middle. Then you have your typical cement type, dark bulk tanker, and also liquid isotanks, which is basically a special pressure, pressurized cargo tank in, in covered in a special cage. So these are quite good because you can actually stack this up to many different uh, levels. How many, how many levels can you stack? Five? I would say four would be a perfect size. But in all honesty, we don't like to stack this uh, pressure tanks. Why? Because inside the chemicals are very dangerous. If at any time it leaks, it can cause a serious harm to the other chemicals below it. Oh, okay. So we prefer to keep it uh, not stacked at all. Uh -huh. right. Now, this is one of our factories we have. Look, spin, spin. Uh, this is one of our factories we have in Malaysia, I know, which is located in three different places. One in Kemaman, Lahad, and also in Kimia. Senai. Senai, yeah, near Senai. So this uh, we produce caustic soda mainly in this plant. So when you produce caustic soda, you also get chlorine as a byproduct. Oh. So wow. these are the two main things for this uh, plant in Malaysia. Now. And typo acid work is actually a sulfuric acid plant, which we mainly use to, to which we mainly use which we mainly use to supply one of our major customer which is Tyco Bleaching Earth, which is a rare resource um, activated clay used in palm oils. Uh -huh. About 80% of the sulfuric acid generated in this plant goes directly to this factory. Tyco? Yes. And that's it. For what purpose, the, the sulfuric acid, for what purpose? 